we are here with the Harlingdale ISD Superintendent Jerry Slipko, um, right here in Southside Strong. Um, and so we're, as you know, we've been following up with some of our local leaders to see how things are going uh, within the community and how we have been adjusting in ways that we can also help to improve um, the engagement for our students to be successful. And so welcome, so glad that you're here with today. Good morning, Dr. Garza. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here uh, communicating with you. Well, Dr. Soto, I've been following some of the um, social media and things that you all have going on um, at Harlingdale ISD. In fact, I believe you actually have a signing day uh, going on at Harlingdale ISD for some of your um, athletes. Um, but, you know, before we get into some of those things, what would you say is one of uh, the biggest challenges or some of the challenges that Harlingdale has uh, had to work through during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic? Uh, great question. As, as you know, uh, we, uh, all districts uh, nationwide had to go distant learning. Uh, and, and even though we tried our best, uh, we reached about 97% of our kids are, are engaged in some form or fashion. Um, some of the issues we have is we, we want 100%. We want to know where all our kids are at. And the mobility factor, the unemployment, and uh, the homelessness uh, has taken shape in, in our nation. And uh, it is concerning to find uh, that 3% of our kids. Uh, so we've been trying. We're making calls. We're making visits. Uh, social workers are, are knocking on some doors and, uh, of course, keeping that distant learning. But trying to find that, that 3% that, uh, that we have not found yet. Yeah, and I know that um, you know we've been we've been experiencing some of the same challenges, and you know we're we're a hop skip jumping away from each other, and you know we're we're dealing with um, families who have um, you know where the parents have lost their jobs or have been furloughed, and that housing insecurity, that food insecurity, um, and we've also had some challenges where um, we haven't been able to locate students either. So once this happened. You know, we knew that, you know, some of our students didn't have the technology or they didn't have the Wi-Fi or the bandwidth um, to keep involved. And, and so we share a lot of those um, commonalities. Um, what are some of the things that um, Harlingdale ISD is doing to provide those kinds of resources or, you know, you're making phone calls and how, how is Harlingdale ISD trying to help the community during this time? You touched base on it, Dr. Garza. Our connectivity down here in the south side is, is probably about 25% that, that kids are able to have internet connectivity. So the first thing that we did as a district was uh, to go tackle that issue. And uh, we ended up ordering uh, by the board support. Our, uh, uh, we had a board meeting in April and we ended up buying devices to put in throughout our facilities. We have 14 square miles. So we ended up putting some antennas to, to broadcast the Wi-Fi signal. We ended up uh, putting in our 50-hour buses. So when you drive around Harlan to ISD, uh, the community, you see our buses parked in, in strategic locations to give that connectivity to our kids. And then uh, then we gave our kids devices. We, we gave up about 5,000 devices to our kids, you know, uh, some Google Chromes and, and some iPads. And uh, so we're, we're trying to close that uh, uh, technology uh, gap that, that we do have here in the South Side. And we still have a long ways to go. Uh, you know, we, we, we want to be able to to uh, to get the connectivity through trees and through walls and, and give them, you know, like hot spots where they can actually sit at home if they're a little further away from those buses or, or those buildings to be able to work right from the comfort of their home. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that's been really one of those keys because you still want to deliver the instruction and education um, very much. And so you have a, a, an amazing board. I know Harlingdale, you all have amazing board and of course an amazing superintendent um, that really care about our community to help um, our communities learn and continue to move forward. So you all are doing some amazing things. But what, what would you say if you were talking to, um, to, to parents in the community, um, what is it that we can do um, to also help you continue with your mission to educate our students and particularly our students there in the South Side community? It's, it's a big task for our community because they're hardworking people. Uh, majority are blue collar workers and, and, and uh, they have jobs and, and, and then they have to also be the teacher at home. They have to, uh, you know, wake up the child to get up and, and get up in those uh, remote learning situations and then uh, help them with some of their work and, 
uh, we're better equipped as a school district to have the kid in front of us as we know that would be the best place for teaching and learning to go on is, is face to face. And right now through this pandemic, we don't have that luxury. So uh, our parents have reached out to us. We have some training uh, in our Sosa Center and, and our, our um, uh, uh, one of our other uh, resources where we reach out and do some training for, for our parents to teach them technology, you know, the basic uh, of just logging in and, and uh, looking through emails and learning how, how to Zoom and and so they could help their, their three-year-old or four-year-old, uh, you know, help them uh, learn and be engaged. Well, I know that that has to have been, um, you know, that's also a unique challenge, I guess, because you're educating um, young children um, anywhere from pre-K and kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. And the learning is different in each of those modalities. And so um, I know that that could be um, challenging as well. But um, I would like to, one is just thank you again for joining us this morning. Thank you for sharing um, some of the challenges that you've been running into and some of the solutions that you've been coming up with um, to help our community. I know that, um, you know, we're in this Educate South uh, movement where we're going to continue to help our community as best we can. And the way that we do that is coming together and really um, coming together as a strong um, South Side Strong to, to move us forward. So. Thank you again so much. We appreciate you. We appreciate the Harlingdale ISD community um, very much. So one of your players is uh, going to be signing to our uh, softball club uh, team this afternoon. So we're real uh, excited about that to, to have Harlingdale students continue to not only receive their education at, at the best community college um, right here in the South side, best community college in Texas um, and in the country and continuing to move forward but then also for your students to stay engaged, um, whether it's through our athletics or our marching mariachis or any other organizations that are coming in because that connectivity is what, um, what unites us. So thank you again, very much appreciate you. Um, and thank you to the Harlingdale ISD family. Thank you, Dr. Garza. Great partnership with uh, uh, Palo Alto College, especially with uh, you guys providing the Alamo promises for our students, where our students are able to, to graduate from our Harlingdale ISD schools and and go to, a, to an Alamo Community College uh, free tuition. So I do appreciate the partnership and, and uh, we'll co keep communicating for the best of our community. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you, sir.